YouTubers, and welcome to yet another beer review with you here the Master of Puppets today, looking at another Faro, or Faro Lambic. This is kindly sent to me from BelgianBeers.com. Thanks a lot to load it from BelgianBeers.com for the beer. If you check out the description below, there's going to be a 10% discount code that's going to be working for t uh, three days, so you can uh, buy some uh, Belgian beers. Now this one... Uh, it's from Timmermans and this is <coughs> the Timmermans Tradition Faro Lambicus. Something along those lines. It's a Faro Lambic, and that basically means a Lambic brewed with caramel sugar. Um, the best one I've had has probably been from Three Fontaine, their Strafe Winter. But it's a style you don't see very often. It's not my favorite style of Lambic either. But this here, it's kind of interesting, it's Timmermans, and Timmermans is owned by the John Martin Group, which is a kind of bigger beer group in Belgium. Uh, it says here it's the oldest Lambic maker, originally from 1702, so that's pretty old. Uh, 4%, what worries me about this one here, it says on the back, brewery, oh, ingredients, water, fruit juice from apples, which is 10.5%. I don't know why they use fruit juice from apples in a faro, I've never heard of that. Uh, barley malt, wheat, which is uh, accustomed, sugar, hops, antioxidant E300. They have E numbers in here, so I'm worried how authentic this lambic is going to be. Nice little pot there. So this is a 2012 release of the Timmermans Faro. I'm a big lambic fan. I don't drink them as often as I used to, mainly because the ones I can find around here at the moment are Lambics I've already tried, so I'm like not wanting to review. Well, maybe I should do a re-review of some of the Lambics I reviewed like a long, long time ago. But there it is, and it definitely looks like a kind of traditional Faro Lambic. It's hazy, orange in color, it's got a white head, still your own on it. Yeah, it smells to the sweeter side. I'm definitely picking up sugary sweetness. A slight tartness to it, not maybe not sour, more of a tartness. Green apples, but yeah. And the thing is, usually you pick up green apples in like lambics, so it's kind of weird that this one has the apple juice to it or apple juice. What's that apple juice, right? Yeah, apple juice in there, because it has this kind of like apple juice kind of character. The lambics are more like sour green apple. The the other lambics I've had. But I definitely smell that sugar kind of note, oaky notes. A touch of vinegar as well, but it's not overtly complex. But let's give it a taste. Cheers, guys. Now, <laughs> that's not, uh, that is not for me. That Faro Lambics are very interesting. They can either be hit or miss. For me, this is a miss. I don't like sweet Lambics. That's the thing. I prefer them to be sour, tart, funky. This is quite sweet. Yeah. Um, it's not like really insanely bad. I mean, you can drink it, but you get that caramelized sugar flavor really dominates the flavor. You get a little bit of that apple juice. Subtle tartness on the first sip, but it's just dominated by that caramelized sugary flavor, which, as I said, not really my cup of tea. Um, that's about it. It does have a, a little bit of an oaky component, but mostly it's just sugar, kind of lemons, apple juice, or candied like apple flavor, and then like the kind of slight subtle tartness. This reminds me of like a chapeau. Lambic, which actually is this class I'm using. Uh, I think it's Chapeau, Gapo, something like that. They make like, these kind of, I think they have a banana Lambic. And I remember reading one of their Christmas Lambics made with raisins, and this is kind of like that. It's just sweet, sugary, and not real my cup of tea. I mean, this is something, kind of a girly drink almost, because it's so sweet. I, I'm not even, it, almost like honey sweetness to it, actually. Um, not really my cup of tea either, sorry to go to, I mean, I prefer the, the sour Lambics, not the sweet ones. So, rating-wise, for the Timmermans Fao Lambic, 
I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go 40. It's like below average, quite below average. I'm just not keen on the sweetness. I mean, I can drink it, but it's just like not really a good beer in my eyes. It's way too sweet. So, especially for lambic, like I, I just had dinner and I had hoped for a little bit something sour and tangy to like have right now, and this wasn't. So, <laughs> kind of disappointed in that sense too. So, but. Well, maybe some of you guys like it. Let me know some feedback. What do you think of the Timmermans tradition or traditional Favol Lambic if you've had it? As always, guys, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter, and I'm going to say cheers. And I'll see you guys in another video.